I think that I might be just a little too overdressed for this blizzard. All right, so if you're like me, you might be a little bit of a Scrooge when it comes to the holiday season. I really don't like the movies all that much, the Christmas movies. I really don't like the Christmas music all that much. It's just it's all over the place. You see it's the same movies year after year and the same songs year after year. What I do love is the gift giving, the gift receiving, the food, and especially the holiday cocktails that come with it. So that is probably one of my more favorite things when it comes to any holiday is the specific cocktails that come with it. So I'm gonna create a couple for you guys today. Uh, they're one of, the first one's gonna be called The Blizzard. Uh, I really like this one because it's a bourbon base. Both of them are actually bourbon based, which I like to believe that if Santa's coming down the chimney, yeah, I mean, he likes it, him a stiff bourbon drink. Santa doesn't give a shit about the eggnog or anything like that. He wants himself some bourbon. So let's go ahead and start this first cocktail off. Like I said, this one's called The Blizzard. So we're gonna go ahead, put some ice in our tin. I'm gonna try and make these with my mittens, by the way. So uh, no promises that this is not gonna have fuzz in it. All right, so here we go. So I'm going with my Jim Beam Berman on this first one. Oh God. Oh, I should have pre-opened these before I put the gloves on. Okay, so like I said, two and a fourth ounce on this bourbon. Oh, that's two. And I'm just gonna kind of have to eyeball a fourth here. And a fourth. Nailed it, okay. Wow. That plus the sunglasses, Probably a pretty terrible idea on my part. Next, we're gonna go with three, oh shit. Three fourths of an ounce of cranberry juice. Almost every holiday cocktail, or every Christmas cocktail, at least I feel like has cranberry juice in it. I'm here for it, I don't care. Put cranberry in everything. Three fourths of an ounce. Eh. Eh, okay. All right, next, oh this part's gonna be interesting. I get to put knives and on my gloves, awesome. We're going with half of an ounce of lemon juice. Not that one, I want this one. So we're gonna cut our lemon. Oh God, I needed a bigger knife. Okay, so half of our lemon we're gonna do in our little uh, presser here. Oh God, I didn't get it in the right way the first time. Okay, half an ounce, we get it in there. Ooh, I did it. Half an ounce. And then lastly, for this one, is gonna be one full ounce of your simple syrup. That is your one part water, one part sugar. Boil it up, melt it down. So there's nothing left, perfect. It's gonna be a real nice color, I think. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead. For there, we're gonna give it a nice blizzard winter shake. Okay, you get the point. It's shaking, I guess. Give it a good slap. Oh God, I can't do this without gloves, so I don't know how many people do it with gloves. <sighs> oh good, you're back. And while you were gone, I totally got this cup off, you know, with zero problem or anything whatsoever. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it in our chilled coop. So we're gonna go ahead and put that over there. Got a little froth under it. And we're gonna go ahead. Ah, and we're gonna double strain this bad boy. Oh yeah. Perfect. I am put all the liquid in because last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put some cranberries for garnishing. Just a whole bunch of cranberries. And there we have our blizzard. Let's give her a little sippy. I feel like that's like becoming the very popular term for all these cocktail uh, YouTubers is saying let's take, give it a sippy. I'm, I love it, I'm here for it. I just like, I didn't know that was the correct nomenclature. Oh yeah, that's, that's just superb. Very nice hint of cranberry, very nice hint of the lemon juice. The bourbons, you got the bourbon taste without the overpowering bourbon bite. That one is bitchin'. So this next one is called the Mary Berry Buck. 
again at a bourbon base because we're sticking with it. This one, we're gonna go with our Maker's Mark bourbon on this one because that's what it calls for. I'm pretty sure it's from their special like holiday. There's a ton of Maker Mark's recipes with the bourbon in it. I friggin' love it. So let's go ahead and let's do this right. And let's go ahead and go an ounce and a half of our, oh God. I don't know what's happening. There we go. I don't know if I could do like a full day. This by the way, ounce and a half of your Maker's Mark bourbon. But I don't know if I could do a full day with like these mittens on. Like I couldn't use my phone. I couldn't, I don't know if I could go to the bathroom correctly. Like I, I just don't know how they, in the, what's it, the tundra, how they would do it in the tundra. Next, we're gonna go an ounce and a half of our cranberry juice once again. So pretty similar components, but you know, there's a couple differences here. Um, we're gonna go three-fourths of an ounce of our lemon juice this time. So I'm gonna see if I can get out the rest of this because it's a big old lemon. Ah, uh, give me enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three-fourths of an ounce of lemon juice. And that's really it in the shaker. So we're gonna go ahead and shake this bad boy up. I'm gonna do this softly this time. Okay, there we go. No way this can go wrong. And let's shake it around. Oh God, yeah, just easy like that. No problem, that's exactly how the last one went too. Um, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our highball glass here. I decided it wasn't really a, uh, what kind of ice to serve with, so I'm gonna do it with some pebble ice. And we're gonna just, mostly. Yeah, that looks good. And again, where's my strainer? All right, here we go. Eh. So again, this is just bourbon, cranberry juice, lemon juice. So it's pretty much the same as the last time. We're going in the pebble ice. The only difference on this one is, and I can, oh God, I already see the problem with this one. Uh, you're gonna top it with some ginger beer. So you're gonna fill the rest of ginger beer. I have, I don't know if you know this, but you, oh God. I might need a can opener. That took all the effort I had in me. Okay, and we're just gonna top it off with some ginger beer. Yeah. Stir a spoon. Ooh. Stir that up nice. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now, our garnish here is going to be a lemon. Oh God, my fingers. Oh, no, that didn't work. Oh no, did I cut my gloves? Oh God. Oh, once again, zero complications. I just happened to get the lemon wheel on when you guys weren't looking, so. Um, so that's gonna work. And then I got two cranberry, I don't know what we would call them, cranberry uh, shish kebabs, we'll call them that. And we're just gonna go ahead and put those in there, like so. I'm just gonna, I don't know, looks good enough to me. I might actually just top a little more. Yeah, there we go. And there you have your Mary Berry Buck. Yeah. That is delicious. That is absolutely, I love ginger beer. They were always remind me of a mule, obviously, because pretty much the main component, but with the cranberry juice, just all the other flavors in it, most people do vodka with their mules and stuff like that. So this, it, very similar to it, but, oh, Mary Berry Buck. Yeah, instead of a mule, it's a buck. All right, figured it out. Took me all of the entire episode, but, mm, that's great. So here are your two holiday cocktails. You got your Blizzard, you got your Mary Berry Buck, both delicious. I'm gonna keep bringing you guys holiday cocktails throughout the month of December because they're so freaking delicious that you guys deserve to try these. So I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys tell your family you love them. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Give me tons of comments. Let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video.